We need more people with voice. We need everybody here to, to step up and speak out. I, I was speaking to a youth group in St. Louis, and I asked people, how are things changing? Are things getting better around here? And this, this um, high school kid said, he said, two years ago I came out, everybody bullied me, and there were these three guys in particular, and they beat me up all the time, and it was just horrible. And um, now, three years later, it's a lot better. I don't know what happened, but they're my friends. One of them came out. And I, I just don't know what happened in our town. You know, it was him that happened. He's the one who made that happen. He just came out. He just had voice. He gave himself voice and he said to everybody, look, I'm, I'm gay, you know, I'm here, deal with it. And that changed his whole town. It changed his school. It changed individual lives. And it was amazing. We're already at the place where people want to know us and they want to know about us. And, and more and more people come up and they say, you're a transgender, I know a transgender person, and they're happy to meet one. And, and yeah, that's kind of creepy and, <laughs> and, and, and crazy, but, but in some sort of creepy and crazy way, that's, that's progress. I want you all to step up and speak out. Um, no matter how you identify, whether you identify as the partner of a trans person or a trans person, whether or not you identify as any kind of trans person or no kind of trans person at all. I, I want you to think about the voice you have and use it. Use it. However, talk to Congress, but if you don't feel like doing that, if you don't think you'll be amazing at that, talk to your school or your workplace or your children. Just keep talking. Let people get to know us. And here are my tips. I, I do have tips. <laughs> Most important thing, tell your own story. Tell your own truth. Don't tell my story. Don't tell the story of, of what you think is the trans experience. Tell your story. I cannot tell you enough how that is the most amazing, the most powerful story you can tell. And it is the one that you cannot get wrong. It is your story. Tell it. People want to hear it. And everybody here has an amazing story to tell. Whether you're a trans person or a partner, an ally, or a child of a partner. Second, this is a sort of a negative one because it's just a pet peeve of mine. Know what you're talking about. <laughs> A lot of us start talking and we don't really know what we're talking about. As, as many of you know, 62.5% of all statistics about trans people are made up. <laughs> including this one. <laughs> but know what you're talking about. And you know what the, the best way to make sure you know what you're talking about? See rule one. Tell your own story. You can't go wrong if you tell your own story. Also, don't generalize from the particular. Because the amazing thing about being trans is there's so many different kinds of us. So anytime you find yourself saying, transgender people think this, or cross-dressers do this, just know in your heart you're wrong. Because some do, some don't. Because there's, there's so much amazing, amazing variety. So don't generalize about people from particular things you know. And think about your audience. Um, I talk to lots of different kinds of audience. I use different language with my family here than I would with my birth family, than I would with members of Congress. And, and I just ask you all just to do the little things with your voice, do the big things with your voice. You know, I, I am here because in 1987, I was moving to Boston to go to graduate school. And I knew about IFGE, and I knew it was in the Boston area, and I got up there, and I, I was in my hotel room, and I was terrified, and I called, and somebody answered the phone. And I talked to the person for like 10 minutes, and the person was like, and I was like, I'm thinking of coming to school here, and I want to know, is this a good place for transgender people to be, and I'm very nervous. And, I'm and this person said, well, you're one town over. Come on over here, and we'll talk. I said, well, I don't know. And she said, oh, get over here. And she basically hung up on me, gave me the address. <laughs> she took a couple hours and just was a human being and met with another human being and, and changed my entire freaking life. We can be amazing. We can have voice. We can win everything that is ours, everything that we deserve, and everything that our families need. So let's do it. Have voice. Kick ass. And thank you all so much for being here.